Now the first quadrilateral that we have to understand is parallelogram, right? So let's take up parallelogram and learn the formula related to parallelogram. First, let's draw a parallelogram. In parallelogram, we know that the opposite sides are equal. So if say this side is A, this side is A, this side is B, this side is B. Also, this angle is equal to this angle and this angle should be equal to this angle. Opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are equal. All right. The first thing that we need to know is the area of parallelogram. Parallelogram in short is also written as two parallel lines with a GM written on top. So it is area of a parallelogram can be calculated as base into height. You remember the triangle formula was half base into height. Parallelogram formula is base into height. Just be careful that if you select a base, let's say A, then this has to be taken as height. Let's say it is H. So it can be, it can be written as A into H. Please understand that if you take B as the base, then height will be this length. This length, this would be different from H. Okay. So this length would be different from H. I'm not taking any value for that. Right. So simply area of a parallelogram is base into height. Right. Now there is one important property that is related to the diagonals of a parallelogram. So let me say this is the first property. Then the second property is related to the diagonals of parallelogram. Okay. So suppose in this parallelogram in which the sides are A and B and let's say the diagonals are D1 and D2. And suppose this point is M. So the first important property related to diagonals is that diagonals bisect each other. All right. So in any parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. That's a very, very important property. So basically this M is the midpoint of D1 as well as the midpoint of D2. Okay. Now, the third important thing that is the relation between the diagonals and the sides, you can directly memorize it. D1 square plus D2 square is equal to two times A square plus B square. Right. This is a very, very important relation between the diagonals and sides that is sum of squares of diagonals is equal to two times the sum of squares of sides right you can directly memorize this as a direct formula for parallelograms all right